YouTubers, it's me, uh, Jeremy Miller, or known as Hopes and Our Dreams Mia. Um, so, like, this is sort of like a video response for Shane Dawson's video about his dreams and stuff. And I was just watching it. But honestly, I have the same thing that happens to me. I mean, like, for me, though, it's like, how he was talking, it's hard to explain these type of things like dreams and stuff but um, let's see if I can try my best I really stink at explaining things but I'm gonna try my best um so like how he talked about seeing his grandma there and stuff and his dreams and in this place it always takes place at his dreams that actually happens to me because a lot of my dreams take place in my old country house that I lived in like a lot of times 100% of my dreams take place there um basically like I still dreamed that my dad was still alive in my dreams like he still exists like he appears and it's like I can touch him and hug him and love him and everything it's like it feels so real to him like you remember the touch every the way they looked the way they would say things it's it's like real and then it's like in a split second, it could be woken up, and that's when reality comes flooding right back at you and hits you in the face, and it's like, it's all just a dream, but it's like, I never really told anyone about this dream or anything, it's kind of, it was really frightening for me, because I kind of woke up crying and like bawling my eyes out and stuff, but like, I was in my country house on my front porch deck, and, like, it was storming, lightning, and rain, and I don't know why, but I was standing there on the deck and, and watching it all go by, and, like, the people I know who are I met, who, like, who are my family, who are the people I don't like, all that, like, they were there, and I don't know why, but like a car there's a field between the road main road that everybody drives on and then my house but there's a truck driving down this and this road and my, I lost my dad in a car wreck so I'm just you know, running these people who do know and those who do not I lost my dad in a car wreck when I was 60 but anyways um, actually his birthday's coming up um, the 7th of January so it's gonna be hard for me but pray for me you guys and thanks for your support to those who kept with me in the whole through the whole thing and thanks a lot but anyways <laughs> sorry I'm going on back to what I was saying like, there's this truck this white truck my mom owns a white truck so she, it's like driving down the road and all of a sudden it catches on fire during this thunderstorm and it's lightning and raining and all this stuff and it just catches fire out of nowhere and like I freak out and the door falls off and then somebody falls out and that's when I realize it's my mom who's like on fire and everything and I'm running over there and I can't touch her or anything I, I'm like standing there frozen watching my mom burn <sighs> I'm not kidding. Just to have that seem so real. I'm not just unfairly and I don't This is my only family parent that I have left, so I guess I get a little bit more anxious and scared and worried about her now. Saying was what to, could happen. But anyways, it, it was crazy. Dreams, like, honestly, I don't think there's any way to explain dreams at all. None. Mm. I honestly believe that we, ourselves, create this world. We feel like we can protect ourselves in it. And we can make anything happen. But I think when we go to sleep, that's when our minds like free to 
focus on other things and do other things and make up its own thing. Like, you know, you get those moments where you can do this and you can do that. But then it's the, there's moments where you don't have any control of what happens in your dream. It just happens. It's pretty frightening. It's just at times, you know, those types of things happen. But, yeah, that's my sort of story, <laughs> I guess. Um, if you guys want to check out my other videos, go ahead. Sky, rate, comment. I love you guys, those who are watching me, because you're amazing. So, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.